Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this wonderful composition with the Big Ben Tower. We are starting this tutorial using this uh, lovely photo of the Big Ben Tower from the Unsplash website. We are going to duplicate this layer, Ctrl Command J, and now we are going to hide a part of the Big Ben Tower. So choose the lasso tool and select the area that you want to hide. Then go to edit and choose content aware fill. Hit OK. Deselect by using Ctrl Command D. As you can see, Photoshop <laughs> did a really nice job with the content aware fill. We are going to use the clone stamp tool now to hide this part of the Big Ben Tower. So create a new layer. Let's call this one clone stamp. Now take the clone stamp tool or use the letter S and choose an area outside the tower let's uh, say this area by holding alt or option and press only once release and then start to paint on the parts that you want to hide as you can see now we managed to hide this area but i want this area of the tower to be really straight so let's add a mask to this layer press this icon of the mask and now zoom in and let's reduce the opacity of this layer to 80 percent so we can see better which parts we need to hide so now take the lasso tool again this time the polygonal lasso tool and just start to select the area that you want to be seen so I selected this area, be sure that the clone stamp mask is selected, the mask is selected and now hold Alt or Option and click Delete. Now we can increase the opacity again to 100%. As you can see now it looks really well. Now I'm going to add those parts into a group. So I'm holding Shift and select both layers and I'm going to name this one sky we have this layer the underneath layer okay i'm going to move this layer on the top and now i want to select the area of the big Ben tower that i want to move so is the area on top of what we already have selected all right now i'm going to use the pen tool so press the letter p and just start to select the tower After you finished with the pen tool, press the letter A or take the direct selection tool, select all the parts that you just made and be sure that on top you have exclude overlapping shapes selected. Then right click and choose make selection. Then just press the mask tool. Now if we move this uh, new created layer, as you can see we managed to do a really nice job. Now we need to add a bottom part, so for that I'm going to create a new layer, hold Ctrl Command and press new layer, so that will create a new layer underneath your layer. Let's call this one bottom part, take the polygonal lasso tool and just draw underneath a shape that should be the bottom part of our Big Ben Tower. Now take the paint bucket tool and hold alt or option choose a nice color a darker color from the tower and just fill that area as you can see we managed to do a really nice job now i want to add more texture to this bottom layer so i'm going to select one of the areas of this tower let's take the lasso tool and just select let's say this area Ctrl C copy this area, Ctrl Command V and paste it and now I'm going to add it inside this bottom part layer. So hold Alt or Option and clip it inside this layer. So now if I move it, it moves only inside. Press Ctrl T or Ctrl Command T 
and hold Ctrl or Command and drag the corners to the sides. Let's create a new layer, select layer new and from this mode select soft light and fill it with 50% gray. Also add it to this layer, hold alt or option and now take the black color and use the brush tool. We need a softer brush and now I'm going to reduce the opacity of this texture. So we have our tower ready. So I've selected everything that I created and I'm going to hold this icon and I'm going to name this one Big Ben. So now we have our tower ready. Now I'm going to use this hand to hold the Big Ben in that palm. Let's zoom in. I'm going to take again the pen tool. So press the letter P and just start to select. So we've selected our hand, right click and choose make selection. Press the mask tool and just drag this new layer inside our Big Ben creation. We have this area here that I don't like, which is too dark for our image, was the previous shadow, but we don't want that shadow to be there. So now hold Ctrl or Command and press on the mask. So we select only our layer. Now take again the clone stamp tool, choose an area near that shadow and just start to paint. Double click on our mask and let's add some feather and also some shift edge. All right, hit OK. Right click and convert this to a smart object. Let's fix now the size of the hand. Ctrl Command T and make that hand smaller. I think this is a very good size. Now we need to change the colors of the hand. So add a new hue and saturation layer, hold alt or option and clip it inside our layer and now just decrease the saturation. Okay, let's add a curves adjustment layer. Of course, we're going to clip it inside our hand layer. Okay, now I'm going to add a shadow underneath our hand. So create a new layer, hold control or command and it will add a layer underneath our current layer. Let's rename this to shadow and also this layer should be called hand. So now we have our shadow layer. Let's choose the blending mode multiply and take the brush tool, select one of the colors from the tower and be sure that the flow is around 10%. And we are going to draw underneath our hand. Now we need one more shadow which will be on our hand not underneath the hand so create a new layer on top let's call this one shadow 2 of course the blending mode should be multiply and we are going to select only our hand so hold ctrl command and click on the thumbnail of the hand choose this color and just paint where do you think the shadow should be all right now let's reduce the opacity to around 40%. Let's group everything into one folder or group. So hold shift and click on the icon and now rename this one to hand. Now if we select the both folders hand and the Big Ben, we can move the Big Ben tower all around. Okay, now I want to rotate the hand with the Big Ben also. So hold Ctrl Command T and just start to rotate. All right. I think this looks really nice. Now let's add more details to our hand. Create a new layer on top of everything. Let's uh, choose exposure, decrease the exposure, something like that. And just click by holding Alt this layer inside our hand layer. And now choose the blending mode to soft light. And now I'm going to invert this mask. So now the current color is white. I want to make this color black to hide all the adjustments. So press Ctrl or Command I and take the brush tool and be sure that the white color is selected. Choose a really smaller flow around 4% and just start to draw. Now I'm going to add some lights to our hand. For that I'm going to add a new layer inside our main hand folder. So I'm going to call this one light and this one shadows. So choose the blending mode to screen and take the white color. Now be sure that the flow is around 10% and just start to draw on the edges of the hand.
If you want to undo some parts, you can take the black color and just paint where you want to hide that parts. Let's add more shadows and lights. I'm going to create a new layer, create new layer and choose soft light, fill it with 50% gray, also add it to our main hand layer. And now if we paint with black, it will add more shadows to the parts that we are drawing. And if we paint to white, it will add more lights. Now I need to reduce the saturation a bit. So I'm going to go to this hue and saturation layer. I think something like that. Now I'm going to add another adjustment layer, which is color balance, and I'm going to clip it inside our hand layer. Okay, and now I'm going to play a bit more with the colors. Okay, I think this looks really nice. I want to play more and add a cat inside the remaining area. We have this picture of this cat. I'm going to select the cat using again the pen tool. right click make selection press the mask tool i'm going to drag this into our composition i want to hide those sticks so i'm going to bring this layer all the way to the top and create a new layer and clip it inside our layer by holding alt or option now i'm going to take the clone stamp tool and i'm just going to use alt or option and start to paint where i want to hide those areas Now we are going to draw some fur on the cat. So for that to happen, we are going to create a new layer. Let's call this one fur and choose the brush tool and select the fur brush that I'm going to give it to you. All right, so now what this brush is doing is just drawing fur on the outline of the cat. So let's increase the flow to somewhere around 50%. As you can see, it draws something like that. So now let's take the color from this area so hold alt or option and now if we draw it will draw in that direction All right, so if you love cats the way I do, because I have a cat and I love them a lot, you'll spend a lot of time in drawing the fur. Now, let's select everything into one group. So hold shift, bring everything into one group. So this is our cat. Let's call this one cat. I'm going to add this cat inside our tower, the remaining of the tower. I'm going to hold Ctrl and T or Ctrl Command T. Let's make it smaller and let's find this cat a really nice position. I'm going to hide this area that I really don't like underneath our cat. I'm going to add a mask. Now I'm going to take the soft brush tool and I'm going to hide this area a bit more. Now I want to add a shadow underneath our cat. So create a new layer under our main folder. And now let's name this one cat shadow. <laughs> let's set the blending mode to multiply and just draw a shadow underneath our cat. Now let's play a bit more with the colors of the cat because I need the cat to be more desaturated. So I'm going to add a hue and saturation layer. I'm going to clip it by holding Alt or Option inside our 
uh, main layer of the cat main folder and decrease the saturation all right now i'm going to add some shadows on the cat so choose exposure and also hold alt or option and place it inside our um, folder with a cat and just decrease the exposure now set this to soft light and invert the selection by holding ctrl command and i now take the brush tool and choose the white color and now if you paint it will add more shadows to that area now i'm going to add a new layer so layer new and I'm going to add more shadows and lights by using the soft light with 50% gray and of course I'm going to use black and white the way we did with the hand. Now I need to add a final shadow which will be the shadow cast by the hand holding the tower so we want that shadow to be somewhere around this area now go to the tower folder the big band folder and hold ctrl or command and select the mask so this is what we want to cast now this shadow and also the shadow of the hand so go on top and just fill this new created layer with uh, let's say some gray color now i'm going to move this shadow and choose blending mode to soft light hold alt or option and click on the mask so we need to bring back parts of the shadow be sure that the mask is selected and now just start to paint with white I'm going to add a blur to that shadow so filter blur Gaussian blur something like that also we need some shadow on our cat so I'm going to bring back parts of the shadow that will be included in our cat because I want that shadow to affect only the cat I'm going to hold ctrl or command and select the mask of the cat and I'm going to paint with white on the areas that include only the cat all right, I think this looks really nice. The last thing, I'm going to use the crop tool and select only this area of our image. I want to add more shadows and I'm going to use this side of the tower to make it a bit darker. So go to the Big Bang Tower and just create a new layer, a new adjustment layer with curves and decrease the colors a bit more and bring this to our tower so hold alt or option and include it in our tower so now press ctrl command i to invert the selection choose the white color with the brush selected and just start to paint on the sides that you want them to be more darker now for the final adjustments i'm going to rotate a bit more the hand with the tower so i'm going to select the hand and the big band tower by holding shift all right and also of course the layers that we used and i'm going to move it and rotate it a bit more something like that and now for the final touches i'm going to make a screenshot of everything so ctrl alt shift and i and right click convert to a smart object and i'm going to use the camera row filter from the filter menu all right, so those are our settings. You can use those ones or use your own settings. This is our tutorial for today. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.